I find it highly ironic, but generally true, that we live in an age in which boredom is particularly common, or at least the jadedness that comes with having all of one's immediate needs met. But at the same time, we seem to have forgotten what a lethal thing boredom can be. Have you ever seen someone in the grips of a profound boredom? That person is not in a very good way. That person is seriously ill. Um, I think that we undervalue boredom, vastly undervalue and underestimate it. We tend to see it as some mild annoyance in life. Um, but I would argue that it's something that infects and ultimately poisons one's entire existence and that we spend far too little time attempting to combat boredom. Boredom can sneak up on you and kill you. It's the most insidious of all of the uh, traps that there are in this plane of existence, simply because we undervalue it. We have no idea. We forget how lethal it is. But boredom is not inevitable. Some people are, seem to be immune to it. Have you ever met such a person? My father seems to be such a person, but you'll also note it in the elderly. My father is elderly right now, but he wasn't always elderly, obviously. And he seemed to have the capacity to just sit on the couch and chill out all of his life. A lot of elderly have that capacity. A lot of people who look at Canada's native population believe that they seem to be immune to boredom as well. Um, a lot of Westerners traveling in Asia note how incredibly patient the people there can be. Russians often impress Westerners with their patience. It's almost a profound patience. Um, whereas to us, to stand and wait is a terrible torture. It literally is a torture in many cases. And we undervalue it. How do we come to grips with boredom? It is something that is conquerable, but first we have to understand how dangerous it is. Thank you.